management is not a problem only here in Ghana, but in other African countries. Now, annually, we produce a lot of waste, and out of this waste, 1.7 million is plastic. Now, today, I'm here at Nail Plus Ghana Limited, where a young man, Nelson Boating, is helping recycle plastic produced and plastic waste that is generated in the country. Follow me, and let's see more. So this has created a big business opportunity for Nelson and his over 60 direct staff and 500 indirect staff. See Neoplast, his company, as a contributor to the tons of plastic waste in the country, he came up with a way to help solve the problem. Uh, during 2015, 2016, where the government was threat, threat the plastic industry, like they, they want to ban it, mm -hmm. that boosts me that because I have 63 workers directly, indirectly is over 500, and they solely depend on me that I cannot let just say, oh, they ban the plastic, so everybody should go home. I have to find a different way to keep the, the workers working mm -hmm. and to keep the job moving. That is how come I came about with this. 33-year-old Nelson has been producing these eco-friendly blocks since February 2017. All he uses for the blocks are sandy soil and plastic waste. Not only is it 60% cheaper than the usual cement block, but also 10 times stronger. With these blocks, they are very cheap mm -hmm. and the durability is higher than the normal concrete block we have. It has been tested in Ghana Highway Authority and we had 14 newton. But when we increase our mixture, that's the plastics, we are, we are going to get more than what we had the, the previous time. Okay, cost-wise, how how better is this than the pavement blocks, the regular ones we know? Uh, these blocks are 60% cheaper than the normal blocks that we have. When you say 60%, how much? With this one, we compare it with the normal bricks, the rectangular one, mm -hmm. and that one will, four and half of that will will be one of these. And four of, of, of that one will be around seven Ghana City. Well, this one is three city, 50 pesos for the main route. Then the house is two city, 50 pesos. So these are freshly pressed, what I call eco-friendly blocks. Now this is 30% plastic, 70% sand. Now that's depending on where you'll be using it. This one is going to be used for homes and places where there'll be less pressure but I'm sure the quantity would be more for roads. Now these ones are quite, quite warm, unlike uh, the one there. Now that was made some days ago and it's very heavy. Now, let me try and lift this up and see. It does not even break. Now that is the effect of the plastic in it. If it was any other usual cement uh, pavement block, now I've just broken into pieces. With the knowledge he gathered during his team years as a factory hand in a plastic manufacturing company, Nelson managed to build this machine that melts the sand and plastic mixture to form the paste for the block production. Although Nelson has his production materials in abundance, He's able to produce only 200 blocks in a day. At this rate, more than 800 blocks extra demand is not met. To meet the high demands, Nelson would require about 10 hydraulic press, which goes for 50,000 cities each. Nelson is hoping that government will consider his proposal for the One District, One Factory program. What we need is hydraulic press with some cooling system to make the thing, the, the process more automated because as, as you can see they need to press it from the mold before they will get it under the press which takes a lot of time to do that have you have you heard from government has government offered any assistance looking at its drive towards the one district one factory program have you heard from government in any way firstly we applied for the one district one factory for the polybag side and about some few weeks ago, we had uh, the lady in charge of the one factory 
mm -hmm. that visited us and he took the proposal away. So he has said that we will hear from her very soon. For now, Nelson depends on revenue from his plastic bag business to help sustain the brick business. When he expands his business, he is hoping to add roofing towels to his list. Perhaps like Nelson Boating, government should appreciate that the only way to save our environment is by recycling the plastics we produce, especially when Accra in recent times has been touted the dirtiest city in the world. The reason? plastic and solid waste. Government's quest to overcome plastic waste led to a possible plan of banning the use of polythene bags in Ghana, which manufacturers have kicked against. This would have made Ghana like other countries in the world where plastics have been banned. For Joy Business, Karen Dodu.